Yeah, this is my home, this is my office. It's where I go to relax. Kind of covers everything. <laughs> Stephanie Gilmore. <laughs> I'm a professional surfer. Welcome to my house here in Malibu. Settling down kind of freaks me out. I like to be on the move. I don't have any attachments. As long as I have a surfboard, a good bikini, I can kind of make myself feel comfortable no matter where that I am. Because I travel so much, I can't have a real pet, but this will do. I think you learn that when you travel so much, you don't need so much. You become really comfortable in your own skin and your own surroundings and yeah, it's nice to feel that. My wardrobe's pretty funny. It's like clothes and then just wetsuits. <laughs> yeah, seas of bikinis. This is the dorkiest wetsuit in surfing. Gymnast. But I'm not trying to be adorable on a wave. I'm trying to be ferocious. Ready for work. You always say, you know that saying, you can't win everything. I actually think you can win everything. I won my fifth world title here on this beach and then went straight to the casino. And then I don't think I won much at the casino. Yes. This was the first ever cover of a men's surf magazine that I had. Attack of the females, it's kind of aggressive. <laughs> I definitely stole that from the, from the launch of the magazine. Malibu, you know, it's such a romantic surf place. It has this history of all of these surfers who, when everyone was working and you know, trying to survive, these guys didn't care, they just wanted to surf all day. My books, artwork and stuff all kind of reflects that. It's kind of like a little country club for mermaids of Malibu. I got a five for the S to represent my fifth world title, so. This is my favorite artwork. The whole shark thing and these like super groovy looking octopus. Yeah, I think that represents this place pretty well. Whew. Yeah. I'd basically just have a house full of surfboards if I could. Surfboards really a beautiful piece of art and I think that they sometimes look good just in the house. They don't need to be ridden in the ocean. Plenty of those. Plenty of tags and somehow I squeeze my whole life into that little bag. That's my most prized possession. This is my world, my passport. Even though I'm a professional athlete, I still feel like a bit of a gypsy, a bit of a rebel who just gets to surf for a living. It's all you can think about is catching another wave. And um, yeah, it's cool. And the best part about it is it changes every single day. So always come back for more.